What's going on everybody? I got a new Stitch Fix box. This is box number two. If you wanna know how Stitch Fix works, I made a really quick video about it and you'll see a link on the screen or in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into this box. It's open now. All right, so this is the uh, price breakdown, which I'll show you on the screen. Hey, it's actually a little bit, uh, it's cheaper than my last box, which is not that bad. The last one was 205 if I kept everything. So, and I'm not planning on keeping everything this time. I've been doing some thinking. I th I'm thinking that the best value for Stitch Fix is either keep one item or keep the whole box. You gotta keep one item so that you get that $20 stylus feedback. The whole box though, you get 25% off and uh, 20, 20 bucks back on top. So here's the note from the stylist, same person, Kelly. She used my feedback to put this box together. She hopes that I like what she picked. And then she explains what all the, what all the clothes are. Got some shoes in this box, so we'll see. So with the sneakers, I really don't need shoes right now. I just got some for Christmas from my mother-in-law. And these are Sperry brand, Top Siders. These say $60, so if I kept them, there would be 40. I'm not really into this style of shoe anyway, like this casual, modernish looking shoe. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna really try them on because I know I don't like them and I'm just not gonna keep them. So I'll just note that in the comments whenever I send, send these back to my stylist. So that was an easy one. <sighs> Here's the clothes. All right, some shirts. Got a t-shirt here. Well, it's a long sleeve shirt. It's really, really soft. Very soft. This is a Algo brand. That means something in Spanish. Algo. Not too, <laughs> not too big on that so far. Uh, not, not too into that. Just a, a sweater looking green vest thing. It's got buttons all the way up. Some turtleneck looking collar thing right there. You see that? It's like a turtleneck. And come all the way to my chin. Not too sure about that. Got some red ale pants. Saw that. Got a little pant pocket design there. Eh, I don't know. I really don't need any pants right now, so I don't know, man. Let's see. I said I was just gonna keep one thing because I don't want to just spend twenty dollars for a stylus fee and not keep anything. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the blue shirt, this really thin, stretchy shirt by Algo. That one is $34. So it would be, after some math, $14 if I kept it. Well, ooh, that's not that bad, really. Uh, the green shirt, I'm looking for the word turtleneck on here, but I don't see it. Red Ale brand. Red Ale Riverside Button Mock Neck Sweater. It's missing the word turtleneck. That one would be $49.50. So you can do the math, figure out what that would be if I kept it. The pants, the Red Ale pants. Okay, I got two red, they're both Red Ale. This Red Ale is a uh, straight fit Lowell jean. That would be $68. And the other pants are the exact same price. Some gray jeans by Red Ale. These are a straight fit Bedford cord. So it's a little tiny corduroy pattern or whatever you call that. <laughs> I don't know, they're not too bad. All right, I've tried everything on as you saw on the screen. The only thing that I'm gonna keep is the green turtleneck sweater. If I unbutton it, it's not so bad, I guess. I didn't see what I really looked like in it. I'm just getting it because that's what the one my wife likes, so. I'll go with that one. It's going to be $29.50 for me to keep it, so that's not so bad. So I'm gonna save a lot of money this time around. I don't think I'll ever buy a whole box again like I did the last one. That was just too, too much to spend uh, at one time. So if you think about it, you get one of these every month, you keep one item every month. By the end of a year, you've got 12 new items of clothing. And for me, that's 12 items of clothing I would not have bought before having Stitch Fix. So this should keep things in rotation, keep things new and fresh. All right, so that's gonna do it. Um, I do have to say thanks to Kelly. She did a good job. I mean, this is part of the process. I'm gonna tell her what I didn't like and then she'll modify according to my feedback. So that's how it works. Um, I didn't expect uh, the stylist to get it right every single time. This is a great box. I just didn't prefer the shirt and I didn't prefer the shoe. So I'll put, make my comments match that and then next time or down the road, um, she'll have a better idea of what I like. I uh, appreciate you checking it out and I'll see you next time. Bye.